Hello, everyone. Let's continue from where we left off from the previous video. So, yeah, uh, just a quick review. So, you have um, a path to move from target 10 to 20 to 30 and back to 10. And you synchronize your path to to rapid uh code so now uh the robot just move around doing nothing um in this session um i'm gonna show you how to to at to attach a tool in this case i'm going to use a vacuum gripper so that a robot can to a pick and place application. So let's get started. First, you need a tool. Um, in Robot Studio, you uh, have a lot of uh, tool. Can go down here tools. Um, then top end, be put that type. Uh, tools. Japanese robot tools. ก็จะเป็นกริปเปอร์นะคะตัวหยิบจับหัวดูดอ่าแวคคัมอ่าหรือจะเป็นหัวเชื่อมก็ได้นะคะโอเคนี่ก็จะเป็นที่เค้าระ
then go to configuration and IO system. Click on signal. Here you, uh, this is default uh, inputs and outputs of the controller. As I said before, we have a uh, virtual controller. Controller cannot work alone. They need to talk to something else and receive feedback from peripheral devices. ก็เอ่อ uh, controller นะคะอย่างนี้เช่นนี้เรามีเอ่อ controller virtual controller ที่ชื่อว่า controller สิบสิบเขาจะมี input output อยู่แล้วนะคะแต่นี้อาจารย์จะเพิ่ม input output ที่เอาไว้ control หรือควบคุม backcom gripper ก็จะมีหนึ่ง output ที่เอาไว้เปิดปิด backcom gripper แล้วหนึ่ง input ที่เอาไว้รับสัญญาณว่า gripper เนี่ยดูดอะไรได้จริงๆหรือ,อยังนะยิบทิ้งชิ้นงานได้จริงๆหรือ,อยังนี่อาจารย์ขอลบอันเก่าก่อนนี้อาจารย์เทสไว้โอเคใช่ and restart โอเค here we have some default signals but uh, um, I'm gonna add Like I said, I'm gonna add one input and one output. What I can do is right click anywhere in the empty space and click on new signal. So one output type of type of signal is digital output, and give it a name. Let's say. Uh, QX, I prefer QX for an output vacuum clipper. Okay, um, another thing to pay attention to is the default. Uh, no, access value. Uh, change it from default to all so that every one can access uh this uh variable or signal. So it means that our code can turn on and turn off this signal. Then press OK. Uh, yep, it's there. Then do the same for input. It's digital input. In IX, I use IX as uh, my naming convention to show that it's an input. So IX vacuum sensor, okay, and change the accessible to all. You can put comment here, right? Okay, like this is a vacuum sensor, okay. Mm -hmm. You need to uh, restart a controller so that they. Take uh, input and output into the controller. Okay, hit restart here. Then okay, it will take a few seconds. Let's wait until we get the green light. Okay, we are ready. Okay, let's go back to the slide. So. We go to the controller ribbon, select our system, add new signal, type in uh, signal name, select the type of signal, change the access level to all, and restart controller. Okay, so it's we have. Um, we have input and output to control and receive signal from vacuum gripper, but we haven't made a wiring from controller to to the gripper yet. So we're gonna do it now. Let's go to station logic here. Okay, this is our tool. And we have built 
all created uh, to signals. So let um, let use it. So we have vacuum gripper. This is the output of the controller. This output will turn on the gripper. So it will be the input. So the output of the controller will be the input of the gripper. Okay, let's drag it. So yeah, okay. Um. ตอนนี้นะคะคือเราสร้างสัญญาณมาสองสองสัญญาณใช่ไหมคะก็คือ QX Vacuum Gripper ซึ่งเป็นสัญญาณ Output ของ Controller จะอยู่ฝั่งขวาสังเกตฝั่งขวาของกล่อง Controller นี่นะคะ Output นี้ก็จะไปไปเป็นสั่งให้ Gripper ทำงาน Output ตัวนี้ก็จะมาเป็นสัญญาณ Input ถูกไหมคะ Output ตัวนี้ลากมาฝั่งซ้ายฝั่งซ้ายจะเป็น input ก็คือจะไปเป็นสัญญาณ input ของ gripper ออกจากตัวนี้แต่มาเป็น input ของตัวนี้โอเค the same apply to the input signal which is ix vacuum sensor okay so the ix vacuum sensor is the input of controller they it checks if sensor already uh, Grip something. So the output of the gripper is the input of the controller. So just put it here. Okay. This is the way to to wire uh like two cables. But we do it uh, virtually in robot studio. อ่าโอเคนะคะนี้เราก็ต่อสัญญาณเรียบร้อยแล้วเมื่อกี้เราสร้างสัญญาณมาสองอันนี้เราตอนนี้เรามาต่อเหมือนต่อสายไฟเข้าด้วยกันนะแต่นี้เราเรียนซิมูเลชันเราก็คืออันนี้ต่อสัญญาณแบบเวอร์ชวลนะเสมือนจริงอันนี้ก็คือวิธีการต่อนะคะโอเค so we have link the input and output okay here three point one we have We call station logic, and we linked um controller to to vacuum gripper. Okay, so back to view. Everything looks fine. If you want to simulate input and output, you can go to this uh, I/O simulator. Um, the search for our signal, which is digital outputs. And here is our output, and you can also scan for your input. Here is input. I X vacuum sensor. Okay. Let's. Uh, this gripper gonna grip something. So let's create um. A box or a cylinder. Okay, then go to modeling. And we gonna build a solid body. Let's select a cylinder. Okay, uh, let's make it um one hundred millimeter for the radius and two hundred millimeter for the height. So it's there. It's created. So our our robot gonna pick this cylinder. Okay, let move it a bit. Out. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm gonna teach the robot to pick this cylinder. Okay. So. Same stuff. I uh, jog the robot. Okay. I can. To go down. Up. No rotation. Okay. It. 
it looks about right. I can switch back, switch to linear, jog. Okay. Let's check if it's okay in another view. So it go a bit into the left. I'll move it more into the right. You can uh, fight you in your position, but okay, let's go a bit down. Make a okay. If the 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 gripper, the suction cup should be a bit yeah here higher. You don't need to go this far. It's too much. Uh yeah. In in simulation, uh, the the small gap between a suction cup and a workpiece. Um, uh, it's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, it's up tilted. Okay, let. Uh, not yet. Okay. Um, I can check if my gripper works. I go to um, I O Sim later. I turn on the Wacom gripper. Uh, I can check if I only turn on my gripper. I can I can check if my gripper really uh grips something. So let's go to digital input. Yes, it's grip uh this cylinder. So let's save this position. To save it, I hope you don't forget. So teach target. Okay, I have this target, target 40. Okay, it's safe. Let's move upward. Okay, I'll go up. Yes. The robot pick uh, cylinder up. Let's place it somewhere else. Okay. This is gonna be a rough movement. I can jog it using a joint mode. Okay, let's drop it here. So this I can use linear mode. Um, bit down. Okay, then I can turn off my gripper and see. Let's see the input. Okay, it didn't um grip the part. So this is my. Second position, let's save it. Okay, I think this 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 video um teach you how to make um, input and output and link it to the controller. So um your homework in this video is to yeah 
views the grouper that I gave you link the signal and see you in the next video which I'm gonna show you how to call the robot to pick this part from one place and put it in another place. So thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Bye.